Hi, based on the overwhelming feedback on the previous video, which was about solar panel efficiency, it was decided to make another video on the highest value solar panels in the market. So we have some very lucrative information coming your way. Keep watching this video till the end because it can benefit you or the people you know immensely. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire people towards engineering and technology for a better, more sustainable world. So subscribe today to remain updated with the latest information. Now, before we reveal the list of panels, there are a few things that need to be understood. First is that we will not cover the cheapest panels in the market, but we will cover the panels that provide the highest value because there is a difference between the two. Believe it or not, there are many panels in the market that are extremely low in price, but do not give the same level of power as mentioned on their specification sheet their output level is much lower. So we have eliminated all such brands in the list of panels that we will be sharing. Only the solar panels that provide the highest value are listed here. That is the ones that not only have a lower price range but also have a reasonable quality. The second point that should be understood is the fact of location on the price. Solar panels will have different prices for the same brand in different parts of the world. A solar panel that is manufactured in China will have the lowest price in China. Logistic costs add to the panel's price. And so the prices mentioned here are also mentioned with the location. At present, polycrystalline panels provide the best value for money. Polycrystalline panels also dominate the overall market with more than 55% share of all PV sales. Today, the biggest top three solar panel manufacturers are Jinko Solar, Trina Solar, and Canadian Solar. And it is no coincidence that their panels provide great value for money. Their quality of build is high and they perform what they say on the specification sheet. These companies and others in the top 10 like JA Solar, Yingli, and Hanwha are in strong competition with each other, which brings great benefit to the customer. The overall price of the panels from these companies is very close and there is no clear winner. So for example, one can buy Trina solar panels for as low as 49 cents per watt in the US. The 280 watt monocrystalline panel by Trina solar is sold for only $138. Likewise, one can buy Canadian solar 355 watt poly split cell panel for only $179, which works out to be 50 cents per watt. And similarly, Jinko solar panel of 300 watt power, the JKM300M can be purchased for 163 US dollars, coming at 51 cents per watt. These prices are for US only. So you can notice there's not a lot of difference between the brands. What makes a difference is your location. Say for example, if you purchase Canadian solar panels in the US or in Canada, they usually come out to be the cheapest. On the other hand, Jinko solar panels are cheaper to buy in China and Trina solar panels are the lowest cost in Australia. The price variation is based on location of manufacturing plant and distribution centers. Another example is Microtech and Vikram, which are Indian brands. They are much cheaper to buy in India and come around at about 45 cents per watt but in the US, they're almost $1 per watt. So now the question is, having mentioned the top players, are there any brands that can undercut these market giants in price while still maintaining high quality? The answer is yes. In Europe, at least three European companies are beating their competition from Chinese counterparts. They are providing the highest value for money these companies are REC Solar from Norway, AE Solar and Solar World from Germany. For example, REC panel of 300 watt, the REC 300 TP2 is available for only $117. This gives the best value of 39 cents per watt. The panel efficiency is also exceptional, that is 18%. The AE solar panels also fall in a similar price range that is 39 to 45 cents per watt and go even lower when bought in bulk. Another notable mention is Solar World, their 270 watt panel 
also scores a good 57 cents per watt, the prices mentioned here are for purchase in Europe alone. It's worth mentioning here that there are certain premium brands or high-end brands in the market. They include Sharp, SunPower and Panasonic. They have superior build quality, higher efficiency and higher warranty period but also come with a higher price tag. Most of their panels hover at $1.1 to $3 per watt. If you're living in hot climate area, then thin film solar panels might work better for you. Some of the technologies of thin film have similar efficiency range as polycrystalline, that is 17%. However, the price for thin film panels is higher and comes about $1.5 per watt. Similarly, price for flexible solar panels is also higher at about $2 per watt. So to sum it up in five points, we conclude that REC panels in Europe take the cake and provide the best value overall. The second thing we noticed was that prices of certain brands of panel vary from location to location. The third thing we learned was that best value is available only in larger size panels, that is panels that range from 260 to 320 watt range. Number four, we observed that buying in bulk can also reduce the price per watt further. And finally, in 2019, a good benchmark for panel price would be paying less than half a dollar per watt and a bargain would be paying lower than 45 cents per watt. Now, if you want to get tips on getting solar panels at very low price, I would recommend you watch this video. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from the video, do hit the like button. And please spread the word about this channel as we constantly endeavor to bring for you informational videos week after week. Thank you for your attention.